I think uh, we have uh, Sheetal with us uh, on One Minute CM. Thank you, Sheetal, for joining in. Uh, quick introduction about Sheetal. Uh, very difficult to say. Uh, this is she is a fraud investigator. She is also a licensed Zumba instructor. Uh, she is Miss uh, Telangana Photogenic, and uh, she is a food enthusiast. Uh, she loves food. Uh, she also loves dog and animals, and uh, she is also a uh, an organization which. Is I would like her to talk a bit about that also during her introduction. But thanks for joining in, Sheetal. Uh, it's an honor having here, uh, especially Miss Telangana Photogenic being Zumba instructor. Apart from your regular work life, that that's really inspiring. So we uh, this show is all about people with passion. So thanks for taking time out because you're not only uh, here to talk about yourself, but you're uh, inspiring others at this particular moment. So Sheetal, can you talk about yourself? Sure, pleasure all mine to be on this uh, channel, and thank you so much for inviting me. Um, yes, like you mentioned, uh, I am Sheetal. I work for uh, one of the leading big fours, and I'm a fraud investigator by profession. I am also a licensed Zumba instructor. Um, I volunteer at one of the NGOs called Aditya Mehta Foundation, which mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, helps people with disability. We empower people with disabilities and train them into sports, para sports. Um, this is not only just for, uh, you know, the armed forces, but also the civilians. And very recently we had, uh, you know, inaugurated Asia's first uh, rehab center. It's a mm -hmm. para sport academy and a rehab center here in Hyderabad. So very, very proud to be associated to that uh, organization. And the story of, um, you know, Aditya Mehta himself, the founder is very inspiring. So I would suggest that, yes, do have him on your channel and do have a word with him as well. It's going to be very inspiring. Nice. And, you know, we, we have this organization being here in Hyderabad itself is a good thing. I'm sure they're doing a lot of things. So I'll get more details about it uh, later right. from you and, you know, uh, get them, you know, at least spread the word out as to what good things they're doing and if they need any support. Definitely, that would be helpful. So um, I also, of course, like you mentioned, um, I'm a food enthusiast. I love eating. I'm a big time foodie. Uh, yes, limited to vegetarian food, but uh, I'm sure, I mean, I've seen that myself that Hyderabad has good enough options there as well. So love eating. This pandemic has uh, caused serious trouble to me in that area of my life, but uh, never mind. I think I, I kind of uh, inculcated the habit of cooking and my inner chef has you know, uh, has been born now and I can cook for myself very well. Uh, other than that, yes, I am an uh, ardent dog lover. I love mm -hmm. animals. I'm also part of the animal rescue team in Hyderabad. Though I've not rescued animals personally myself, but I've made sure that I have connected right people at the right time because I don't personally have the strength uh, to actually see, you know, animals in pain. So mm. never been able to contribute that way directly, but in uh, you know whatever little areas that I could, I have done my bit. Uh, I have a dog myself. It's a pug. It's a seven-year-old pug. So of course I love animals that way. Um, in addition to that, yes, um, oh, yeah. in addition to that, in addition to that, इतनी चीजें एक life में कैसे कर लेते हो आप लोग? So I'm more of an explorer. I don't want to stick to one single thing and just continue doing that all my life, which is why I think I've chosen a profession such that, you know, it's not monotonous for me. So fraud yeah. investigation, if I look at it uh, in a different angle, it's every case is different from the other. And you have to keep that fraudster's cap on all the time. So it's quite uh, interesting and inquisiting for me. So, yeah, I mean, I cannot stay in a, you know, lock myself in one place and do one single thing uh, throughout. I like exploring. I like doing different things. So recently, I think during the pandemic also, my inner artist was born and then I started do doodling as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I've been uh, trying different things for myself. Cool. So doodling is something which you do like... Uh was I mean, you were doing it during your childhood or that's something which you took as passion recently? It, it's very recent, I would say. It's just so, of course, school days, when I do used to you know, scribble on the margin side or back of the book, but not particularly with some kind of, uh, you know, message or some kind of design. It was just random scribbling. 
and that's what doodling is all about it's not like you have a defined pattern or something like that so i can show you one of my work as well yeah yeah please i was about to ask so this is the very recent one that i had uh, drawn awesome and now i'm i'm, I'm kind of obsessed with uh, buddhas and monks right now so i've done too many of them <laughs> and i know the reason why so <laughs> <laughs> yeah very much needed i have yeah. mental peace is needed now so it's more like a stress buster for me i would say so isko kitna time laga how much time did it take to you know make this particular creative which you showed just now this i think it took me one and a half hour yeah wow and for one and a half hour you were patiently sitting and working on something yes. Yes, and in fact, that's that's the beauty of doodling. You know, it actually gets you glued onto one single thing, and you have your entire focus there. Because you know those intricate details and those linings. That's that's very important to make the picture at least look nice and neat. So yeah, I think my uh, patience level has also increased because of this. So you you've used uh, any specific uh, pencils, uh, and how many how many did you consume for this particular one art? No, so uh, what happened was I lost. Uh, so I do it with pens, those mm -hmm. micron pens with different sizes, nib sizes. I I used to do it with them, but because of the lockdown, they I could not order them or I could not buy them from the local stationery. So I used a normal black pen. I started doing it, and it worked very well. And that's when I realized I think I should start using the basic ones. And probably when I grow, or So after I do this, after I did this, and after I put this across on social media on my accounts, I mm -hmm. people reached out to me saying that I should start taking orders for these and frame it and then sell it. And yeah. like, yeah, someday yeah. I think that's that's gonna be my backup option now, or probably my retirement goals. That that's how I would earn further. And that is a very cute picture. That that's from your imagination, or have you copied that particular uh, image? I mean, oh, seen yeah. something and then you know drawn this. So I've always been obsessed with baby monks and buddhas. Okay, so I wanted to do something around that, but then mandala is a very, very common concept. So I just tried to merge both of them and see how it turned out. Where apparently I found my own creation very beautiful. So very happy with that. <laughs> I'm a great fan of uh, fan of mandala. You know, me, and my wife. You know, we have one uh, happy wow. belly that also has a background of mandala. So. That's, That's nice. very nice. Interesting. I I would love to see some of your work too someday. <laughs> <laughs> not not doodle. I mean, it's just a logo which has got uh, mandala <laughs> in it. So you know, how did this uh, Miss Telangana photogenic happen? Yeah. So uh, I think back in 2012, uh, before we had this partition of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh, I was also mm -hmm. part of Mr. and Miss Andhra Pradesh. I was uh, part of the top five finalists. Uh, and prior to that also during my school days during my college days i was i was kind of obsessed with getting these titles miss congeniality or miss trances so i'm from trances so miss trances and all that miss treasures so it kind of attracted me i don't know for what reason but it did i i used to like collecting those titles and those crowns uh, so andhra pradesh happened then very recently i came up across uh, mr langana I thought, why not give it a try? Because so I did not want to take it up as a career, but it was more like just for fun. And you get to meet different people, you get to interact with different people, different, uh, you know, uh, contestants. There are amazing ones out there. So it it was a, uh, it just happened. It just called to me, and I was like, okay, let's participate. Let's let's do this as well. Cool. So Shaita, we want to know you. more and you know we have some questions we have rapid fire questions and we also have our question for the game uh, which is 1 minute cm so mm -hmm. before we get into the rapid fire questions i have uh, some pictures which i have stocked from your uh, facebook uh, so i want you to uh, mention something about it the story behind it so sure. <laughs> yeah looks like apart from modeling uh, or participating in some of these events you were also active in something like this so <laughs> yeah this was part of the miss the uh, andhra pradesh uh, mm -hmm. uh, pageant okay so can you can you talk about the brand which was endorsing this what was this event and you know uh, any of these friends are still in touch with you yeah yeah majority of them we all in touch and um, none of them got into the line of you know tollywood or modeling 
I mean, they did not pursue it further. But yes, mm-hmm. definitely. So uh, we were endorsing a brand, uh, Honda here, and okay. uh, yeah, we are shooting for that. That's cute. Um, Look like modeling. पहले बचपन से ही शुरू हो गई थी. Oh my. <laughs> you talk about this particular picture. <laughs> that you were modeling to your best. <laughs> so uh, yeah i i used to be pretty active in school days as well uh, participating in various debates elocutions uh, dramatics uh, fancy dress so this was uh, one when i think i was in my fifth or sixth standard where uh, mm-hmm. this was on teachers day so we had a nice little act prepared for all the teachers and uh, yeah i was a joker there <laughs> Looks like I'm so a, glad my I'm so glad my Instagram profile is private and you could not take pictures from them. <laughs> I I saw something with mask. So yeah, this looks uh, like was first award uh, given to you, right? So can you talk about this particular picture? Yeah, so I think. Um, in earlier days they used to have this competition in uh, newspapers you know send a picture of your child with a caption something like that and mm-hmm. my mom was also a little obsessed with we you know so we are three sisters three sisters doing the best in their life and you know uh, getting awards and winning everything that we participate in so this was one of them that my mom had shared to the newspaper uh, people and apparently i won that was my first first i think um, award or a prize that i had received and yeah. i got a, i still remember i got a voucher of uh, 300 bucks for one of the you know toy toy globe right. kind of a place toy store and i was supposed to go get something from there so i got a cricket bat i remember that as well <laughs> nice that's cute so bachpan se hai you know see you you are winning so you, you participate in every contest which is happening around the city Yeah. yeah, I mean, why not? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> some photographs which are, you know, different. So yeah. So what were you doing there? I was just standing on a rock and posing. I had a face painting done. I think this was in um, Ramoji Film City, mm-hmm. and I had a face painting done. One, I think, uh, it was a butterfly or something, which got painted, and I was just show showing that off with a pose. I was such a poser back then. I still am, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. So th- those were like memorable school days, memorable childhood. Okay, and you know, thanks to your mom that uh, she posted uh, these on Facebook. You know, later after a couple of years, or you know, recently. I think this was these were like around 2011, 12. She started posting these. Uh, so no, so nice of her. But after you joined college, she stopped posting any of your. pictures or you know stop sharing because she saw that girls college mein kuch zyada hi masti ho rahi hai and this is one of the pictures from your college <laughs> yeah so this was uh, miss freshers uh, this was where i started my masters i i did my masters in finance from st francis college and this was the freshers uh, day that we had where i won the miss freshers title also and you you guys you girls always complain saying that it's just a girls college kuch fun nahi rehta dekho ek ek chehra dekho chehra dekho wahan pe it's like you guys are enjoying the moment because we don't have any other choice right <laughs> we have to live with it <laughs> okay so the last picture uh so and this also uh, has a question in it so ye uh, how Yeah, this name of yours, Elu Jane. How did this come? And you know, why is this love Elu everywhere? You know, uh, part of your, uh, you know, name. Yeah. So uh, I'm obsessed with making hearts and love uh, wherever I go. So uh, very recently, when I had gone for my Finland trip, it was a solo trip again. Uh, yeah. I went to chase the northern lights. even there when i could see the lights i was just posing this and i'm asking my friend to actually capture that that came out very well but yeah um, so uh, coming to my name uh, my nickname is elu and uh, back when i was small i think somewhere around uh, when i was born sodagar movie i think 
and yeah. that ilu ilu song was quite popular and i used to feel very happy listening to that song so as i said ki mera naam ilu rakh diya that's nice that and exactly that was my question ye ilu ilu kya hai you know was my first question <laughs> <laughs> yeah my nickname and ilu ka matlab i love you and i spread a lot of love around me so good nice. job <laughs> living up to my name i would say So, Ashital, uh, second question, the rapid fire. Uh, how long uh, a consecutive time you've been, uh, you have spent in a car? The longest time. Hmm. Uh, I think I would again get back to my travel diaries uh, when I was on my Leh Ladakh trip. Mm-hmm. That's when I, I think I spent most of my time in the car. I'm, I'm not very fond of driving per se. Uh, again, it depends on the road and you know the feel around it. But uh, personally, I don't really enjoy driving. I can go on long drives. I can sit beside the dri- uh, rider and driver and enjoy the ride, but cannot drive myself. Yeah, so that's so, fine. Uh, Being in a car for the longest time. Ha! Huh, so it was just during that trip, and should be around. Uh, Six eight hours at the stretch. Uh, not comfortable at all. <laughs> yeah, not comfortable at all, but it's still worth it. Yeah. Oh yes, totally. <laughs> What is that one most delightful word uh, you can think of, which should be used by everybody, and you personally like it, apart from ilu? One word. Yeah. i i think uh, being happy go lucky and being enthusiastic about things in life is required and that mm-hmm. that's one thing that i would expect people to do whatever little that they do in life i think they should be happy doing that and enthusiastic uh, enough to do that enthusiasm plays a very important role i think i've done a lot of things only because i was a very super excited kid all the time ye bhi karna ye bhi karna ye bhi karna hai what's your best childhood memory childhood memory i in fact i don't remember most of my childhood now that you're questioning me but uh, one thing that i did uh, okay now that my mom and everybody would be watching it they wouldn't know so um, i was uh, i was like a more like a, ty- a tomboy kind of person back then and uh, still am to some extent but uh, earlier a lot and all this uh, TV पे देख के हीरो वाला स्टफ करना आई यूज टू डू दैट सो आई स्टे इन एन अपार्टमेंट एंड आई ट्राई टू जम्प फ्रॉम माई फर्स्ट फ्लोर टू ग्राउंड फ्लोर जस्ट टू चेक इफ आई वुड लैंड ऑन माई फीट अगेन और आई वुड जस्ट लाइक हाउ हीरो डायरेक्टली ऑन देर फीट और आई वुड आई वुड बी ऑन माई नीज और आई विल फॉल जस्ट टू चेक दैट आई डिड दैट आई एम सॉरी मॉम उसके बाद Nay, so I was safe. Me, I, uh, I did that, and uh, of course you get a huge jerk on your knees. But otherwise, I was fine. I was like, good. I mean, heroes can do it, so I can also do it. Then I started getting weird ideas. That I think fourth floor to ground floor. So I stay on the fourth floor. Us to ground floor, that if I just, uh, you know, crawl holding things, will I be able to reach down? I, I did get those ideas. I still do sometimes. Never tried that though. <laughs> क्या देखते थे उस टाइम में शक्तिमान एंड ऑल दोस थिंग्स व्हाट मोटिवेटेड यू टू डू जंप फ्रॉम द बिल्डिंग नो जस्ट नॉर्मल बॉलीवुड मूवीज दे आर एनीवे वेरी अनरियलिस्टिक राइट सो हां ये कर सकता है तो मैं भी ट्राई करूंगी एंड देन अनदर थिंग दैट हैपेंड विद मी वाज आई वाज प्लेइंग एंड सो वी हैव आवर अपार्टमेंट गेट ओके एंड दैट्स ऑलमोस्ट 100 केजीज ऑफ वेट इट्स अ इट्स अ गेट मेड ऑफ आयरन तो मैं उसके साथ खेल रही थी एंड आई आई पुल दैट ओवर माय सेल्फ एंड आई दैट फेल ओवर मी अगेन माय मॉम वाज सुपर स्केयर्ड ऑफ दैट गुड या सम मेमोरेबल मोमेंट्स आर देयर एंड यू नो सम ऑफ दीस एक्सीडेंट्स व्हिच यू ऑलवेज रिमेंबर यू नो आई आई हैड दिस मोमेंट वेयर देयर वाज दिस इलेक्ट्रिक फेंस अराउंड द गार्डन घर के आगे सो वी वर स्टेइंग इन अ क्वार्टर्स गवर्नमेंट क्वार्टर्स एंड गार्डन के आगे पूरा fencing tha these are obviously metal fencing somebody i think my mom or somebody you know took that last wire and she put it to the uh, light which was you know hanging on the wall 
सो क्या हुआ यू नो रेनी सीजन लाइक दिस इट वाज रेनिंग एंड ऑल दैट आई थिंक हुआ या शॉर्ट सर्किट हुआ द एंटायर फेंस गॉट इलेक्ट्रिक सो आई आई गॉट अ शॉक माय सिस्टर गॉट अ शॉक सो एवरीबॉडी वर लाइक यू नो शेकिंग लाइक दिस एंड देन यू नो माय डैड हैड टू कम एंड पुल दिस आउट आई एम सॉरी आई शुड हैव बी लाफिंग एट दिस बट दिस रिमाइंड्स मी ऑफ वन ऑफ द स्टोरी मूवीज ऑफ व्हाट वाज दैट हंगामा आई थिंक where uh, i think last may they they uh, touch a uh, electric pole and everybody in the line gets that shock yeah yeah scene वैसे ही था literally that was the scene <laughs> yeah okay right. describe your parents in one word your dad and your mom separately i would put both of them together as super supportive i mean coming from a um, marwadi uh, background and society i think it's very important that parents have liberal thought process and you know they support their kids to do whatever they want to do in fact uh, i think otherwise by now hamari sabki shaadi ho jati thi and job apne apne ghar chale jao types ho jata tha but uh, fortunately i think my parents have been super supportive they have given us enough time and uh, oh wow yeah <laughs> So, I have a huge family. So uh, this is uh, we are almost fifty uh, plus cousins from yeah. both mom side and dad side. We have a super huge family that way, and we all scattered uh, both in India and abroad. And um, the only time where we try to connect is uh, you know, किसी की शादी होती है तो चलो सब मिलते हैं. Otherwise, it's very very hard to get hold of everybody together. and this is a uh, of my uh, mom's native it's a it's a small place in uh, rajasthan called ladnu and mm-hmm. we have a huge bungalow there it's like uh, a beautiful those ancestral homes that you have it's uh, that so yeah i mean, think nice. it almost looks like a nice palace and uh, yeah uh, one of the reason i pulled this particular picture up is i i love uh, the culture of uh, marwadi families living together मतलब कोई भी नंदा करे यू नो इट दे माइट बी वेरी सक्सेसफुल इन दे स्टिल बिलीव इन स्टेइंग टुगेदर एंड हैविंग शेयरिंग एक्सेसरीज शेयरिंग व्हीकल्स टूल्स सो दैट्स दैट्स रियली अ नाइस कल्चर आई मीन वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू यू नो इनकल्केट और यू नो लिव दैट लाइफ अभी सभी न्यूक्लियर फैमिली को ऑप्ट हो रहे हैं बट यू नो सम गुड कल्चर आई थिंक इट शुड रियली कंटिन्यू definitely in fact uh, we don't feel that difference when we are all together though mm. we meet like saal mein ek baar maybe but then uh, we don't feel that difference we are still having super lots of fun and uh, enjoying our time together and we do miss that so very recently in fact just day before it was my uh, uncle aunt's uh, 50th golden wedding anniversary so mm-hmm. since all of us could not be there with them to celebrate it we we did record some uh, videos and wishes for them and it came out very beautiful okay so we have uh, rishab joining in from london no this is our london okay <laughs> yeah so it's ladnu right so since childhood we have been saying ladnu is equal to london for us <laughs> yeah and much more than london i would say you know some home town uh, you know however they are they're still memorable totally okay so how is it being an athlete or you know zumba dance i mean zumba dancer or you know uh, zumba trainer uh, how does it impact you being a better person has, has it changed the way you live yes definitely so i back then i was super lazy uh, to some extent i am now as well but then uh, uh, earlier i never used to have any kind of fitness activity in my own life and i got introduced to zumba when i was part when i had participated in the miss ap uh, pageant that's when we used to have that one hour session of intense zumba uh, so yeah i i took that up post which after that also i continued with uh, you know some classes here and there and then i realized that i think i can take it up myself and i can also pass this to people around me so uh, that that actually instigated to you know go for the certification because i spent enough time doing zumba i was like okay now let's take up that certification let's take that next step and maybe you know spread this positivity around and trust me you actually feel very positive when you're working out when you're doing that energetic dance uh, 
I'm not very pro of gymming myself because I've joined gym n number of times but never continue, never got that motivation. But since I enjoy dancing, I think Zumba called for me and then I took that certification. And now, um, very, so I stopped uh, you know, taking up classes very recently. Earlier I used to, but because of my work schedule and uh, you know the time that my work demanded, I could not devote time here. And uh, to be very honest, I'm not a morning person. So Subha would ke ja ke zumba karna to chance nahi tha. It used to happen in the evenings only. Since I could not do that, uh, I I decided okay I'll take a break from that. And now zumba for me is just for me and my mom at home right now. We we mm. we ensure that we spend enough time together that way as well. And uh, a dedicated one hour session is required for us. Good. Yeah, I have uh, experienced zumba. I was part of a couple of sessions. I think uh, one of my you know, team member, good friend, uh, Mahesh Katta, you know, they have this Bali, Bali beats uh, where they conduct some of these sessions. So, so yeah, with family, it, it is definitely fun. Yeah, yeah. but you know, choreograph us dancing, and you know, that's the only thing. <laughs> totally. So what, what is that one thing you always do after good performance? I mean, there are many achievements, hote hai na? so, you know, like the way you tap yourself, yeah, good job, good job. What is that one thing you always do? So uh, yeah, if I if I think I've done something nice, I appreciate myself. So I I feel appreciation is the key for everything, and that mm-hmm. keeps me motivated as well. So uh, even if it if I think I've done a great job today, the entire day I worked this and I've achieved whatever I've set myself for, I I appreciate myself or probably treat myself with an ice cream or some kind of a chocolate or anything that that would please me, which is usually food in this case. So yeah, I keep appreciating myself that way. What is your favorite thing about someone in your family? Sorry, except for I... Rishabh. Except for Rishabh. <laughs> what, what is your favorite thing about uh, someone in your family? I I could not hear you very well. Okay, let me repeat. Uh, is it audible? Yeah, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, what is your favorite thing about someone in your family? my favorite thing about so uh, of course like i said it's my mom dad my two sisters and both of them are married and my elder sister is blessed with two kids um so i think everybody has different uh, characteristics and traits that i look up to but mm-hmm. now very recently since uh, i have uh, another niece now she was 3 months old i think she's been inspiring me a lot she is like नो मैटर वॉट आगे बड़े हो के तो टेंशन लेना ही है तो अभी जैसे चिल कर सकते हैं कर लो एंड नो वरी आई मीन दैट दैट जॉय यू गेट विदाउट यू नो हैविंग एनीथिंग इन योर बैकग्राउंड इन योर माइंड सबकॉन्शियस माइंड ऑल द वरीज आर जस्ट केप्ट असाइड एंड यू जस्ट फोकस ऑन बींग हैप्पी एंड आई थिंक दैट्स रिक्वायर्ड कंसिडरिंग दिस पैंडमिक एंड लॉकडाउन विच विच इज कॉज सो मच ऑफ यू नो वरी और स्ट्रेस इन I'm I'm pretty sure majority of people's life. Uh, in fact, Sushant Singh that we just heard the news of is also suspected to be in, uh, you know, was in depression. So uh, I think that's one thing that we should all learn from the little ones that take that leap of faith. Even if you you know throw them up in the air, they know that हाँ कोई है पकड़ने को. So they're not too worried about that. So yeah, I think uh, it, very recently it's just been my two little nieces. and they've been inspiring me throughout this lockdown period what is that one weird thing that you've done matlab when you look back at your life and you know you what is that one weird bolte hai kya yaad aati hai mere bahut weird kaam kar rahe hain i don't want to say that or no that's not good um may this requires a lot of filtration okay because my family would be hearing this and they'll be like acha ye bhi kya hai <laughs> that no, would cause me to you to wait okay yeah ilu ye karti hai wo karti hai ye bhi ki hogi theek hai she didn't tell us i'm sure they are more confident now and more acceptable to whatever you're doing I, i'm just worried that shouldn't get me into trouble so <laughs> can i skip that part please <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. Haan, so I, I can say something very very commonish. So whenever I talk, I have people who who stay abroad, and I have friends who are not in India. So whenever I try to connect with them, मेरा रात होता है और उनका दिन का time होता है. So because of that time zone difference. So there have been so many times that I I am talking and मैं सो जाती हूँ. It's not like I am listening. I am talking and while talking, I I fall asleep. Uh, they find me very weird in that aspect and now that i think of it i think it is weird because mai baat kar rahi hu aur mai so ja rahi hu aise beech mein it it is weird yeah, yeah. so wo aajkal movies mein hi hote hain hero heroine talk they talking the entire night and you know they don't know when they slept so but yeah this, this is a unique quality of you have ha <laughs> <laughs> huh, and one more thing i could not understand i think way recently i took a picture also of that My mom was sleeping and she was smiling and sleeping. I was like, "Yeah, yeah, so TV me hota hai, yeah, yeah, movies me hota hai, serials me hota hai." Mommy, how's it going to be? So I took a picture of that. <laughs> yeah, and small babies do that. I'm, I'm sure your niece is doing that. Uh, <laughs> thing. But yeah, your mom doing it. Yes, that that's a picture worth framing in the bedroom. <laughs> I would, I would do that. Another thing that I started doing was, um, I think, uh, when we started this new year, mm-hmm. every day I used to. Click a picture, and I used to save that. There is this app called One Second Video. So you 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 keep uploading one picture or one second of a video onto that, and it creates a nice little, little you know memory when you mash it up. So that's one thing that I've been doing very recently, and it's very nice. I think it's a great way to look back to time and you know think. अरे ये दिन ये मैंने ये किया था या brings back a lot of good memories. True. Yeah. i think that that's one good advantage with facebook calls so a lot of people feel i mean for me it's a diary i mean the, the diary which is open to everybody and you know i keep recording stuff um you know or some people like you who join uh and make my day for the day so these diaries is uh, some things which i can you know go back relish and it's Wait. open diary you know tomorrow i'm not there my family your friends can always go back okay this is this was ravi ravi did this and those uh, you know the advantage is those memories which always recall and you know uh, remind you that hey last year you were here 10 years back you were here so that that's the best part yeah you should keep storing some of these memories very true very true so because of which i i think i also created my niece's account so mm-hmm. that when she grows up she sees that how huh, we have uh, you know kept enough memories of her uh, your saved her In fact, I did that to myself as well. Back in, um, I still have videos of two thousand five and six uploaded onto YouTube. कि कभी future में if I have to get back to my channel, I can look at these videos because otherwise uh, earlier we never used to have those phones, right? True. So I think one thing that I've done really well is uh, captured those onto mm. YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Same thing here. I've uploaded all those. And we had this Orkut, which you know, bad me band ho gaye. We took a backup and you know, uploaded everything on Google Photos and YouTube so that we have it for life. Yeah, great. That's nice. So good, good knowing you, Sheetal. So now to the final question, the serious question. So when you become the Chief Minister, what are the areas you would focus on? Okay, so uh, I did think a lot about this, and I realized that there, I mean, there's a lot of problems everywhere in the world. and uh, there are areas of improvement uh, you know in areas like uh, you have education you have health women safety poverty infrastructure all of these definitely require uh, you know improvement and changes but mm-hmm. if i have to just think impromptu i i think my focus would not be any of these right now because this actually requires a lot of uh, you know understanding the ground work understanding the entire background in of research of what's actually happening and what has been tried and not worked etc so since i i could not think of uh, you know what's been done maybe i don't have that great enough visibility but uh, current situ- situation if i look at it uh, we are facing this pandemic uh, situation and um, the most important thing here is survival and uh, thriving on to other areas is good uh, people do say that you you don't you i mean you thrive you don't just survive but in our case right now that we are facing it should be survival which is important then we can later think of thriving so uh, while the lockdown was lifted i realized that uh, you know 
people have started i mean they forgot what social distancing is they they are still out on the roads uh, not with mask not doing any taking any kind of precautions and that's something very worrisome and uh, once the lockdown was lifted we have seen cases have been rising like by the day i mean the numbers have been just going up and up so uh, what i want to propose here is the culture of reduced working hours at least to uh, ensure that you know we reduce our contact with people the exposure that risk of you know being in contact with people if that is reduced i think that to some extent i we definitely cannot you know um, exclude the entire risk factor but we can what we can do is mitigate that risk and when i think of the benefits also uh, uh, i think uh, during the lockdown we had this curfew time right that 7 o'clock ke baad you cannot step out and that created a lot of positive impact in in a lot of areas say for example infrastructure le lo electricity on the roads on those street lights was shut immediately and we saved a lot there when it comes to environment i think pollution was quite in control nature was healing uh when it comes to uh, people uh, i mean i mean with this i i don't think people would lose jobs we cannot stop the entire economy with another lockdown right now what we can do is just uh, you know continue moving ahead but move at a slower pace economy bhi chalti rahegi and people would not fear ki you know the daily uh, wage earners would not face that trouble uh, people would not lose their jobs all of that will go on but it will go on a slower pace so with this i think uh, people would not lose their jobs they can still continue living they would get their you know uh, money for their everyday meal uh another area that i think this would help would be um uh building that you know socio economic relationship that behavior changes your stress level reduces uh mm. you are with your family you're spending time with them you get time to focus on things you've not been uh, able to focus on earlier because of you know less of time and all of this you can do uh not with the idea or uh, with the fear that okay my competitor there is sitting out in the market and he is still earning money you can you can let go of that thought and just focus on these important things in life and that definitely helps in you know reducing your stress so these couple of things are something that i think would help no doubt there are other major areas of focus that requires our attention you have education you have uh health industry healthcare improving there that's definitely going to be there and that's the problem with i think every every country and knowing the root cause and implementing that is it requires a lot of background and research and homework so to i think my focus is to uh, you know just stick to the immediate problem focus on surviving this battle and then moving ahead and then focus on the rest of the problem cool nice nice uh, shetal so that's a very nice thought and yeah i agree with you uh, you have to uh, do it step wise and you know ensure that right now focus on what what is the uh, current situation take care of this and then you know get focus on other major areas cool so yeah yeah thanks thanks for joining shetal uh, this was nice interacting with you uh keep inspiring people with the good work uh, not only your art and your charm of you know winning these contests everywhere you go but also the social activities that you are uh, doing uh, which are uh, contagious you know uh, one of the things which i recommend a lot of people say that okay i i really don't want to post these things what i do etc but you need to do that because uh, like yawning you know good stuff is also contagious social service activities are also contagious keep posting those activities this will give an alarm to others saying that hey let's also do it so keep keep continue your work and i will definitely get into that uh, i'll get more details about the organization which you are talking about anand sure, sure. and uh, let's take that forward so yes. all the best do well and uh, thank you thank you for having me here it was an absolute honor and the thing that you're doing is great i think it's quite inspiring i've looked at the other videos people who have come on to your show uh, it's it's actually very inspiring to a lot of people around me uh, there have been people who are of course they have great ideas and uh, 
the little that you can do from your side i think that that can make a huge difference and that's what everybody should focus on do your bit do your uh, you know side of work and things would fall in place cool that's great thanks a lot shital you have a thank you day. pleasure all mine to be here thank you and have a rest of your sunday and <laughs> yeah take care thank you so much nice chatting with you bye 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 thank you friends uh, have a great evening ahead